This might be the best carbonara I've ever made. Okay, so today is a very special episode. I'm wearing basically my like Simpsons outfit, like the shirt I got recognized in the most. I haven't worn it in a long time. But today we are celebrating the fact that we have reached our millionth subscriber. So congratulations, Chris. Thank you so much, me, and thanks to you. So we thought it might be a really good idea to just go back to the very first video that we made together, which was Carbonara, and just do another version of Carbonara. I mean, basically the same version, except this time we're gonna use mezza di gattoni. That's our nice celebratory meal, because it's my favorite meal and I have not had it in a long time. Today we're making the real carbonara. And there we go. That's the carbonara. Una carbonara. Let's try it. It's so yummy. It tastes like Rome. Look at that. All right, so we're gonna start with our base because we're gonna have three people eating, me, Chris, and Chris's girlfriend, Serena, who's in the other room. You'll meet her in a minute. We're gonna do two eggs per person. So we're gonna use just the egg yolks. Don't worry, queer feminist. I learned my lesson. Today I'll be saving the egg white and we will be using them to make scrambled eggs because we should not waste food. So thank you, queer feminist, who I really enjoy. She gave me a very, very fun joke and it was out of love in our special hair plugs and heartache. Okay, so we're gonna start. Also, I think last time I used my hand, and everyone got mad at me for the hands too. I don't know, you, the, the way I'm doing it now, I guess. But my mom always used hands and you just kind of do what your mom does. I'm really risking it here, okay. I feel like even in the past year, carbonara has become such a popular dish. Okay, but this one I'm gonna have to use my hands because mistakes were made and I still don't really know how to crack shells. This is so disgusting, I feel like I'm a ghostbuster. I really do think like two eggs per person is like the best way to go. I realize now after for so long of making carbonara and watching so many people make carbonara that it just really comes down to preference. I guess if you wanted to add an extra egg, you could could, but you don't need to because you're gonna be using all that pecorino and pasta water. There we go. There's our six eggs. And I'm going to put the egg whites away so that I can cook them in a little bit. I'm acting like I've never been on film before. What's wrong with me? Okay, we'll just put these over here. That looks disgusting. This looks like an OnlyFans after. So we have our eggs. I don't know if that's a good way to... And now we have mixed in some pecorino romano and grana padano. That's what Luciano does, and we're following Luciano because that's my favorite carbonara. So we're just gonna add in here. So the ingredients we're gonna use today, we're gonna have pepper, pecorino romano, grana padano. We're going to use some salt. We're going to use today dry pasta, mezzi rigatoni. And then we're gonna have our guanciale, and we're gonna have eggs. And that's it. You know what, I'm gonna put all of it in. Why not? A million subscribers. Can you believe that you and I got two million subscribers? Crazy. That's crazy. How many did we start with? 4,000. We started with 4,000 for my stupid Fortnite videos that no one liked. And then Chris and I decided we were gonna work together. I met Chris through our friend Luniverse, Sam. He's a great painter and has a YouTube channel. And I was like, I saw his work and I was like, oh my God, that would be great. So we started doing some small pieces together for Instagram. And then finally I was talking to Mark Gagon from the Andrew Schultz show. And he was like, you just need to get someone that you can work with. And I was like, oh, I'll just ask Chris. And then we made this little partnership. And I think in a year and a half, we went from 4,000 subscribers now to a million. And it's been fun. I mean, the only only problem with all of it is that Nick got involved. <laughs> And now Nick is doing his own cooking channel, which I'm like, is this a cooking channel, Nick? Or are you just showing everyone you don't know what you're doing? One of his things he was cooking was nachos that he bought. All right, I'm adding a little bit of pepper because you know, pepper goes in carbonara. I don't want to put too much pepper in. This isn't going to be Nick's macaroni and cheese. I forgot how aggressive you are with the pepper. Oh, Jesus, this comes out fast. It's a good thing I like pepper. <laughs> Nick, that's enough pepper. Oh, I didn't realize we were making it to Mateo's liking. <laughs> And then you stir it. And? I think it's great. A little peppery. <laughs> Get them to wash that down. <laughs> that was one of the funniest, I've ever, or hardest I've ever laughed is we made macaroni and cheese and he goes, it's just a little peppery. Boom. Okay, so now in goes our guanciale. You put the guanciale on a cold pan and you're not gonna put any oil in it because there's so much fat that you're gonna be rendering in this guanciale. If you put oil in it, it's just gonna make it burn faster. So I'm putting this on a really low heat, like low medium heat, and you basically just keep stirring it till it's ready. I cut mine in really thin strips. I just think it looks better. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. And then also look, Chris. Getting it. That's awesome. I'm so happy right now. This, <laughs> I'm so proud. And then of course we have to use our Golden Girls mug for the pasta water. Thank you for being a friend. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring 
how easy carbonara is. You know what they have? So we go to this place. If you're in New York City, it's in Chelsea Market. It's called La Devozione. I think it's the most authentic Italian restaurant in New York. Alessio, the chef, is great. So I now bother him all the time. Like, we're coming, I'm coming, I'm coming this week. I'm coming. He makes, they cook all in front of you. So they make the carbonara all in front of you. And it's funny because they have like a tub of basically this egg and pecorino mixture that they can just scoop in and bring into the sauce. I would do it all day. All right, let's think about it, Chris. What are some of the best videos that we've made? We started with carbonara. Actually, we started with cooking my stand-up and then just me doing random stuff in random cities. So we had like Mall of America. We didn't start until like I was a little bit in, I feel like. Yeah, but we've had uh, some fun times. The Halloween one, unfortunately. For me, it was the most fun. For Nick and Chris, it was a goddamn nightmare. Oh my God, your breath! The last time I was double teamed in a hallway wasn't like this. We can't walk three feet without you people ruining this. But for me, I was like, oh, this is like, I wasn't scared. I was just excited in each room. Nick lost his voice, lost his mind, was dressed like Woody. And then Chris was horrified. I think you might've been more scared than Nick. I just had to do stuff. I couldn't. You were pretty scared. Well, at first, I, I started going through backward, and they obviously didn't know that. So all the people were running into me. <laughs> and then I was like, all right, I'm going behind you guys. You're like, Chris, you have to go first. I was like, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> what he would do at the same time, he would yell at people and then make jokes and then yell again. So I was like, what, what are we doing? Okay, so now we see our guanciale. So as you can see, it's starting to become translucent. That's just the fat part. What are you looking for? Basically, I mean, you don't want it to be so crispy that you're gonna break your tooth on it because you honestly could get it that crispy. But I don't like mine chewy either. So I liked mine to have just like a nice bite to it, almost like al dente in a way. But I'll show you, when it starts to become like orange and deep red, that's when you know that it's pretty much done. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on a plate with some paper towel, but you're gonna take some of the oil first and you're gonna bring the oil into your cheese and egg mix, the base, because you wanna keep that flavor. This should be a very, I guess like a smokier flavor but honestly, I also think if you're not cutting it in cubes, you get to control more of how it's cooking. So I can see like where it's translucent. I can see which ones I have to cook more. They all cook pretty evenly. Also to be honest, it just looks nicer. Our pasta water is starting to boil. It said nine to 11 minutes. Let's put on nine minutes. Salt the water. You don't have to salt the water too much. I'm using a little less water because I want to make sure that the starch of the water is thicker so I can use it for the base. What's your favorite? Probably carbonara. You know what actually is my favorite thing to cook? Would be, for three people, I'm gonna use three fourths of a bag. Maybe even a little less. I think that should be enough, right? that one extra one, I really needed it. I would say a matriciana is really fun to cook because it's it's a lot more forgiving. Cacio pepe and carbonara are not forgiving. I mean, you have to get everything done kind of right. A matriciana, you can cook the guanciale and then put in your red sauce and let it cook. Like, it doesn't have to be so like, the tomato sauce, it makes it more forgiving. It's just the fact that you have eggs and you don't want the eggs to curdle. Is that the right word that I'm looking for? A scrambled, you don't want scrambled eggs. Now you can see some of these are already getting like a nice orangey-ness to them. I guess while we're waiting, we can call Nick and see which is Nick's favorite episode he's done with us. I, the first thing we did with Nick taught us how he made his pasta with red sauce. It's, it's five o'clock, where is he? What is he doing? He's doing nothing. Oh my God, okay, so let's see. Cacio Pepe. Oh, we went with Francesco to Italy. Michelle Buteau and I, Nick, Times Square. We visited a little Italy. That was one, of, that's me and Chris in a nutshell is visiting somewhere, filming for 25 minutes, and we're like, we got nothing. And then it blows up. We get the best video we have. There seems to be a lot of cannoli kings. I don't get it. Is there multiple kings or one king? How many cannoli kings are we gonna have here? Are there any queens? Cannoli queens? That might be my drag name, the cannoli queen. The San Gennaro Festival, people were so mad at us. Like, you didn't even seem like you enjoyed it. I'm like, I didn't. That was the point of the video, is that it was overpriced and insane. Insane. You couldn't even walk. Fresh lemonade, it's been sitting out for about six hours. This fucking dragon just walked by us. Jesus Christ. Spirit Halloween, that was a good one. Wait a minute, look at this. That's creepy. It already has the face in it. Ew. This is kind of hot. If I walked into some guy's house and he was wearing this, I'd be like, I could do it. Oh, Matteo Lane Visits Italy was, I think, like. That's my favorite one too. It was so artistic. Chris killed it. It feels nice to have like a home and a group of people that you care about that are here. I have an obsession with carbonara. No secret. Then our first advice special. The advice specials are honestly like, it is so hard to just get up in front of a crowd and then be like, all right, ask me questions. Tell them about the first time. 
We were so nervous because, and both Chris and I were lying to each other. Like, it'll go fine. Everything will be great. It'll be fine. It'll be great. And then afterwards, we were so relieved. Everyone's like, great job. And both of us were like, we did it. We did it, Joe. Like, we were so nervous about it. But this looks pretty good. I mean, we're pretty much there. Done. Let me let it cook a little longer because I don't want it to get too. And poor Rodrigo, he's like, can you save me some? I'm like, no, you have to eat carbonara right away. I have to go to work. I'm like, I'll make you some later. All right, I'm just going to bring some of this in here because I think the oil. A lot of people do this actually. I mean, this is a very common step. Now let's mix it in. Look at this. This is what our finished guanciale looks like. So you can see it's nice, it has a nice orangey redness to it. Mm. <laughs> It's perfect, Chris. It's hot. I just want to remind queer feminists that we have our egg whites right there and also remind other gays to go get checked. I mean, honestly, the, the most work is, is the advice specials, but it's something that we're doing quarterly. We have another one coming out in the spring that we already filmed. It's in the can. It's almost there, but I mean, I would take it as al dente as it is now, but I'm gonna give it another minute. I am gonna take the pasta water though. You know what, let me just put a little bit of the pasta water in here just to get it going. This helps it make the eggs not scrambled, basically. That starch from the pasta water. But I don't want it to be too thinned out. I just want just a little bit. This is perfect. That's the perfect consistency. Try one more, because I think this is gonna be done. And we get to try our new strainer. I think that's ready. Okay. This is so cute. It was so much easier too. Now we mix it in. And there you have it. If it's a too thick, no gays ever said that. If it's too thick, then you can just bring in some pasta water. But I think this is like the perfect consistency. Oh yeah, that's good. Can't even get it up. <laughs> the amount of dick references I've made the past hour. All right, then we're gonna bring in our guanciale. The guanciale is perfect. And there you have it. That's your carbonara. I love the mezza di gattoni because then the guanciale starts getting caught inside of it. And then it's like a nice little surprise. It looks really pretty, doesn't it? All right, Serena, get over here. Do a fork and tell us what you think. Okay. Cheers. Chin chin, eh? Cheers. Mm. Mm. Really good. <laughs> the guanciale is perfect. That's crazy. This might be the best carbonara I've ever made. It's so good. <laughs> oh my God. Chris, you want some? Oh my god. We nailed it today. Chris, um, well, this has been our millionth subscriber video. Thank you to everyone. We've had a really fun time making these videos and thanks for all the nice things you've said. And yeah, this carbonara is really fucking good. Due to the amount of attention we received after I threw out the egg white, this video to finish our carbonara is for queer feminists. So here are our ingredients. I have some butter and I have some egg whites. Now, this is a very ancient recipe from Muscle Gaze. See, once the butter melts, then you can put in the egg white. And then we pour in our egg whites. Oh, we don't want that shell, hold on. No, we don't want the, no. We don't, we're making it worse. No. How beautiful that is. And then so you can see where the, um, isn't this gorgeous? If presented to a doctor, they would say you need antibiotic. Chris, look at this. This looks like ectoplasm. Oh, this looks saving lives. Honestly though, queer feminist, I love you so much because someone, she really had good intentions with what she said and she's right. Everything she said is absolutely correct. I'm just a comedian and I'm cynical and I read it with like a cynical eye. A year later, people are still looking up <laughs> for her comment. So I hope that she comments on this video too. And there you have it, queer feminist whites.